Hey guys, this is Coach Pulley, Seward County Junior College here in Liberal, Kansas. I'm here with Figured Out Baseball today. We're going to go over a, a drill one of five, okay? This will be a five-part series. Um, five drills that we do here on, on a daily basis before we play catch. Um, really three of them are before we play catch and two of them are going to be two things we do within playing catch every single day. It's five things that we think are, are really important, just five healthy habits to, to develop, so we try to put a little emphasis on them every day. We try not to overcoach playing catch. I think sometimes we, we can make our guys too robotic and take the athleticism out, out of them, and, and that's not something we want to do, okay? But these are five things we feel like are, are important that we try to put a little extra emphasis on every day, okay? So first three is going to be kind of a med ball series routine. Now, when I say med ball series, I don't want you guys to think of it as a med ball exercise, a plyometric explosive type exercise. We call this a movement pattern. We will use med balls for plyometrics, but we will also use them for movement patterns, and, and that's what we're gonna use them for today. So we use a really light light med ball for these drills. I'm gonna use a basketball today. You can use whatever feels comfortable to you. It can be a basketball, it can be a volleyball, soccer ball, any of those is fine. You know, with our guys here at the college level, we use either two to three pound med ball, but we don't go over three pounds, okay? So it's not about the weight. Um, it's just more about the movement we're trying to create and the, the feeling that the med ball helps us create, okay? So drill one, if you guys know what the rocker drill is, then, then you're going to be pretty familiar with what we're doing. This is just kind of a spin off of the rocker drill where we just use a med ball, okay? So your starting point is going to be as if you took your leg kick and your foot hit the ground, okay? Start with your feet that wide. Your back foot, we want it to be flush up against the rubber, okay? My front foot, about a 45 degree angle. I don't want it opened all the way because that kind of opens my hips too much. I don't want it closed off all the way because then my hips are gonna have a hard time getting through. We're just gonna open it up at about a 45 degree, degree angle and make sure our right foot is sitting here flush up against the rubber, if you had a rubber. You could do this on the mound too. Um, we do this really in, in any setting. Sometimes the guys will throw the med ball back and forth to each other. If we have multiple guys going at the same time, they can throw it into the wall. We have a plyo wall down there. Um, our guys can throw it into. So um, does it really? I would just be careful throwing med balls into chain link fences. Um, sometimes you can kind of wear them out a little faster than what you're going to want to. Okay. So back to the drill. Like I said, we're starting in this position. The ball is going to be right here at our chest. Okay, the whole point of this drill is to teach us to firm up on our front leg. So when I say firm up, okay, when my foot hits the ground, I really gotta have something strong to rotate into, okay? So if I'm pitching, and my foot hits the ground, and my knee pushes forward as I'm rotating to throw, that's no good, okay? I want my foot to hit the ground, and I want that leg to get firm. And I'm rotating all that energy I've created into that front leg, and that's gonna be firm and help push it up basically into, into my arm, okay? But if this is weak and it hits and we go here, okay, we're losing a lot of energy and power that we've created, okay? So you'll even see a lot of guys when their foot hits and they start rotating to throw, that knee will do that right there. It'll start firming up and start extending even as they come through and throw, okay? So for this drill, we're just gonna really have our feet wide. We're gonna rotate hard into that front leg and it should really firm up as we throw. Okay, and this one, this first one will be more uh, focused on the rotational aspect of, of our delivery. So I'm here, I'm just gonna put the ball at my chest. When I throw it, okay, I don't wanna throw it straight down because that doesn't replicate our pitching delivery. I'm not throwing it for distance, okay, because I'm not gonna throw a baseball uphill, okay? I wanna throw the baseball hard and at a downhill plane. So. I'm going to throw it to that screen. If that screen was my partner or the wall, okay, that screen's about 15, 20 feet away from me. Okay, so I want to hit kind of at the bottom, at the base of that screen. So I'm going to throw it kind of at an angle going downhill. So you're not throwing it for distance. You're not coming way over the top and slamming it straight into the ground. You want to make sure you throw it at a downhill angle. Okay, so I'm right here, ball at my chest. First thing I'm going to do is just kind of rock. Okay, get a little rhythm. If it takes you two, great. If it takes you 10, that's fine too. Okay, get a little rhythm, and when you're ready, you're gonna counter rotate, you're gonna bring this ball back, down by your quad, your knee, you're gonna load into this back leg, okay? And then you're gonna really push into your front leg, rotate, you're gonna bring the ball up, and 
throw kind of through your arm slot, your natural arm slot, but obviously you'll be using both hands, okay? So, full motion, this is what the drill looks like. So if you noticed, when I threw, my front leg went there, okay? That's what I'm trying to get out of this drill, okay? So I hope this helps. Like I said, this was video one of a part five series. There'll be two more videos that are um, similar drills to this that we'll use med balls here at all, our level. We use a, a two or three pound med ball for those. Um, the last two drills will be two things we do actually throw in a baseball. So it'll kind of be the fun stuff. So hope it helped. Uh, make sure you guys tune in for the next four videos. Thanks.